Need LASIK? Trust the experienced team at the LASIK Center at Evergreen Eye Center. No glasses, no contacts, no limits. What will you do? LASIK at evergreen.com. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. The girl on the phone for a second date update today had her first date at one of the craziest places possible. People are popping pills left and right. Lots of group activity, if you know what I mean. And everybody's inhibitions are lowered. Mostly because of dementia. She went to the retirement home. She went to the retirement home, yeah. Wow, it's amazing how all those things are the same. I know. Wow. Yeah. They are having fun over there. Kara is on the phone, and apparently her first date with this dude was at the retirement home. Want to hear more about that in a second. That's an interesting date. Kara, how are you? I'm okay. (laughs) The first thing that comes to my mind is you're like a gold digger dating a 92-year-old Alzheimer's patient. Oh, I hope that's true. No, 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 no. The guy, I, no, I went on a date with a guy who volunteered there. Oh, Oh, he's a good person. How'd you meet him? (laughs) Well, okay, we met on an app and, um, you know, he was funny and we got along. Like he, he plays a bunch of team sports. Like he does a bunch of like those kind of leagues and I do too. And it's fun. So we kind of talked about that stuff and we think we may have played each other before. (laughs) That's that awesome. kind of funny. Okay. So how did he strike up the idea to go on a date at the retirement home? Well, that wasn't it. He was like, let's meet up. And he just said a street corner. Uh-huh. Um, what? Oh, like, that's scary. Yeah. You meet a dude on nap and he's like, just meet me at the corner of whatever and whatever. <laughs> I mean, it, pretty much. But I didn't read it like that, <laughs> oh, you know, okay. like that's when he texted us. So I, it didn't <laughs> sound creepy at the time. Okay. But yeah, I mean, he wanted to surprise me and I was up for it. So. Yeah, because oh. surprises can be fun. Yeah. They can also be scary. Yeah. Either one. But that. this turned out to be a fun surprise, huh? Yeah. So we first met up, and we walked for a bit, and then he just said, I'm going to bring you somewhere. So I was like, okay. You know, and I thought, well, we're going to a restaurant or something. And instead, that's when he took me to a retirement home. And I was like, oh. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he said, well, he said he volunteers there sometimes, and then I was, like, skeptical, like, that this was going to be fun at all. Like, I just thought it was going to be lame. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. And, you know, he's going to try to teach me something or whatever, and yeah. like, a life lesson. Oh, my God. Oh. But did he know all the, re- like, was he friends with all the old people in there? Yes, yeah. It's oh. to be sort of cool. Like, okay, so he's there all I the would- time. I would fall instantly in love with him. Really? Oh my god! Old people are so cute, and like they're cute, but the smell. Someone yeah. who volunteers and they're cute when they're contained. Them. Oh, you guys! When they're contained, <laughs> and they're not like out walking in your way or screwing no. up airport lines, things like, like that. Yeah, if you like keep little... them in a confined space, old people can be very. <laughs> you guys are awful. Very nice. <laughs> so, did you enjoy the retirement home? Yeah, I mean. My grandfather passed away pretty recently, and it kind of reminded me of him, and that that was cute, and I don't know. And he was sweet. Like, Corey was sweet. He was nice to them. They really got him, and we ate dinner with them. It was a wholesome time. Like, we played card games. It was all, like, you know. um, But we did. We had one kind of awkward moment. And it was, like, this woman who, he, you know, who lives there, she was like, are you a boyfriend and girlfriend? And we sort of said, no, this is kind of our first date. And she was like, well, you should kiss. So Yeah, what? Granny. Whoa. Yeah, she wanted some action. Dude. Yeah. You know, they there. are fighting. You've heard about the STD reports yeah, at these senior citizens' home. A They're lot there. For there. A reason. Apparently, you got to watch her yeah. in that <laughs> retirement home. So did you guys make out in front of them? No, I mean, it was just sort of this awkward peck on the cheek, you know. Oh, um, cute. And then the the lady, she clapped. <laughs> oh, that is kind of That's nice. really sweet. Why was that awkward, though? It was just like, you know, like, are you boyfriend and girl? It was just yeah. like a, yeah. I, I don't know. See that part. And you've never yeah. kissed, and it's like, kiss each other. Yeah, yeah, and then being forced to kiss with old peering eyes yeah. <laughs> looking at you. So was that the most uncomfortable moment of the evening? Yeah, I mean, it was fine. And then... When we were leaving, he walked me back to my car, and he kissed me for real. Aww. Cool. Oh. And that old lady popped up from the car seat in the back and was like, <laughs> yeah, good job. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was hoping he'd really get after it. Yeah. Take off his shirt. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. no, she says no. How was the kiss? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it, was just, it wasn't like a big thing, but it was just really nice. It was like first date. 
kiss. Okay. Got it. But now it's been a week and he's like, we're texting here and there, but he's not asking me out again. Okay. And if you tried to like hint or have you asked him out? No, but it just feels kind of like I've been here before. Like, you know, when you're on these apps, like you go out, like it's your job. Right. So yeah. it's like, and I can tell that there's no, he's not really in any hurry to go out again. Like something's off. And I don't know what that is, so that's why I wanted you guys to help me find out, like, what's up. And you were kind and excited about all the old people, right? Because maybe this is, like, some sort of test that he does with women to see... Well, it could be. It could be. But at the same time, like, it was just so nice. Like, we we just kind of hung out and played cards and, like, talked about stuff, and it was just really... It was easy. Yeah, yeah. There wasn't any, like, in the back of my mind, now I'm thinking, was that a test? I don't know, but Hmm. I don't think so. It just didn't, it seemed like it was just like, this is something that's important to him. But you were, you were good with the old folks. You didn't try to, like, fight one of them. (laughs) No. (laughs) All right. Well, we'll play a song and then come back and call him and get your second date update, okay? Okay. All right. Hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. If you're just joining us, Kara is on the phone, and Kara told us all about her first date with a dude named Corey. They spent it in Heaven's Waiting Room. Oh my gosh, don't say it like that. Well, I mean, that's a nice thing. Otherwise, take a number. Known as a rest home. (laughs) Yeah. Because Corey, I guess, the dude that she went out with volunteers at that rest home and he wanted to take her on a date there so they could spend time with some of the people that live there and they just hung out, had dinner, played cards. And she said it was actually a lot of fun. And Kara, I don't want you to blow this. I want you to get a second date. I really do. Okay. <laughs> Why are you so invested? Well, because, Kara, you have an opportunity here that I don't think you realize, all right? Retirement homes are really a great opportunity if you can get in. Because you can steal a lot of stuff what? from those people. <laughs> yeah, they, like jewelry and stuff, they don't even know what they have. Like you can really, <laughs> and once you're on the inside, it's hard to get in there. Now that you're on the inside, this could be a great opportunity, not only for love, but also to acquire some awesome That's jewelry. You are sick. Oh, okay. what, are you, what are they going to do, chase after you? Oh yeah. my nope. God. Nope. No, you they're guys not. are awful. I mean, I thought at least you were going to say you are going to try to get in on somebody's will, not just up and steal from them when they're still alive. I got a buddy who works on one. He sells bedpans wholesale. Makes yeah. a ton of cash. So this is a great financial opportunity for you as well, Kara. Good tip. Good tip. Thank you. You're welcome. Any last words before we call Corey and see why he isn't calling you back for a second date? This one felt like a little different. Like Mm -hmm. it was like we had, you know, we had chemistry. It felt like it was going in the way that we'd like go out again at least. But it's just been fading and I don't know why. Okay. So you like this guy and you definitely felt potential. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, I'm going to dial his phone number right now and see if we can get him on the phone. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Corey, please? Uh, Speaking. Who's this? Corey, this is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. How you doing today, sir? What? Why that? I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry, Corey. Uh, I'm okay. Why are you guys calling me? Well, because we got an email about you from one of our listeners, and they just said we had to call Corey and talk to him. I don't know why I said That's it like that true. either. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I think you guys might have, like, the wrong person. Um, well, I have a phone number here with this number that I just called, and it says their name is Corey, and it says that they volunteer at a retirement home from time to time. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so you're old folks Corey. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't I don't think Corey's funny. I don't think so. It's very amusing. Sorry, he's probably confused. Corey, yeah. we're calling because we do a segment on our show. It's called The Second Date Update. So we got an email from Kara, who you went on a date with to that retirement home. Right, right. Right. Um, and Kara wants to know why you haven't asked her on a second date yet. She says that, like, she can sense that you're, like, falling off. Uh, well, to be honest, I think, like... If I was to go out with her, it would be more um, casual than a relationship. I don't know if she's, like, exactly the right girl for me. So, wait, is it, like, you're not looking for a relationship or it's her? Well, I am. I am because I am single. But at the same time, like, um, gosh, how do I say this? Just uh, the ladies at the old folks' home, I volunteer there a lot. And Mm -hmm. they're, like, a big part of my life. They just don't think that she was right for me 
They oh, don't. wow. Wait, what? So they're hating. They're blocking her? <laughs> <laughs> they just noticed a few things, and they just didn't think that it was in my best interest wow. or that it would work out. Like, over the years, I've been uh, volunteering there a lot, and it's kind of like having numerous grandparents, like, looking out for you and giving no, wait, you advice. And... Why, did, why? What, what specifics did they give the old ladies on why she isn't right for you? Um, some of the stuff they said was, like, her outfit. It might have been a little inappropriate. All right, thought. judgy oh, Betty. outfit? Was this- and did you tell them that she didn't know she was going to a retirement home? She probably would have dressed differently if she knew that that was what was on the agenda. I did. I did. But What was she wearing? Like a yeah, skirt? seriously. She was wearing a skirt and like had her midriff showing a little bit, you know? Okay, so she dressed kind of sexy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she dressed like for a first date, you guys. Like <laughs> They kind of didn't like that her skirt was so low and that her belly button was showing. I can kind of see that. You know? yeah. <laughs> because okay. not everybody has a belly button in the world. You mean they whatever. don't dress like that in a retirement home? That's yeah. how I pictured it. <laughs> I mean, everybody has a belly button, but you don't go around flashing it, you know? Okay, um, besides, besides, <laughs> besides that, did they name other things? Well, now, these are their words, not mine. But remember their words. They said... The makeup was too hookery. What? Hookery. Who are these judgy old women? Okay. <laughs> sounds just like old women to me. Then yeah. I'd take the judgy off it. That sounds like how they would talk. I think. That is not. <laughs> She's no. hookery. Why did you not defend her or stand up for her? I'm just saying these old ladies. They give me good advice, you know, and I can't have them disgusted by my significant other, like disgusted? the girl that I'm in a relationship Whoa. with. Now we've moved on so, to disgusted? You said earlier it's like you have a bunch of grandparents, so if you date her seriously, you feel like you'd be letting down your grandmas, basically. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. I just feel like you really need to school them in how a woman's dress does not indicate whether or not she sleeps around. I mean, like you've been around old people, it's hard to change their minds. And also, who am I to argue with them? Like, they've... They have so much experience, you know? Like, yeah. Who knows how many hookers they've been with? <laughs> Probably a lot, you know? You have no idea. They might be very schooled in that. Well, guess what, Corey? You know who might find this information interesting? Hmm. Kara, and she's actually on the other line listening to this conversation <laughs> and wants to talk to you. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Are you still there, Kara? Yeah, I'm here. Are you pissed, Kara? Uh, I'm pissed for you. Well, first of all, this was a surprise. You said the date was a surprise. So I'm thinking we're going to a bar. And like, it's a first, like, you know, my pictures, you know what I look like. You didn't think that maybe it would be a good idea to let me know. Like, I don't know, like dress like you would if we were going to church. Of course, that would have been an interesting, like text back and forth. Yeah, that would have probably, <laughs> you probably wouldn't have gone on that date. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think you need to calm down a little bit. All right. Just calm, calm down. Calm down. Calm yeah. down. Hookers don't calm down. So. <laughs> that wasn't, those weren't even my words. Those were their words. I'm just explaining what had happened. Also, like, my outfit wasn't a big, like, it was a skirt and, like, it, midriff, like, kind of shows, but not really. Like, it wasn't even, I mean, you've seen my pictures. Like, there's crazier looks than what I had on that day. So, so she could be way more hookery if she wanted. <laughs> Well, yeah, pretty much. (laughs) I'm just saying you did dress a little provocatively, and they kind of picked up on that, and I have to kind of go with that because they're conservative a little bit like me, you know? So Conservative like you. Okay, okay. So they think you're, like, pure as the driven snow, right? Is that the thing? Like, what if I told them that we had phone sex? And what if I told them all the filthy things you said on the phone? Oh, whoa. Hey, Corey. Would they think that you're conservative now? Oh, Corey. <laughs> yeah, what would the gals you? down at the retirement home do with that knowledge? <laughs> Somebody's a little two-faced. <laughs> well, that was that was something that was private with, within us. That wasn't out in the public. We're not going out like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's cool for you. I, can I say this stuff on the radio? I probably shouldn't. You know, yeah. I'm not going to. Go for it. We can but beep yeah. out whatever you yeah. say. Look, I'm going to say I would appreciate if you didn't tell everybody what I said, because that was private and that was between you and me. I thought we had like a moment, you know, not to be a shared with the whole world. secret moment. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to, because if, if I'm, if I'm hookery, then obviously I bring that out in you because you couldn't keep t- from talking about the size of your <laughs> and what you were going to do with it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> Again, 
that was private between you and I, like a moment. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. now I want to know what are you going to do with it? How big is it, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they want to compare notes. <laughs> look, I'm just saying the ladies, maybe they do have a point because look at this. This is the type of behavior that they're talking about, you know? Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Oh. Again, she's the hookery one here. This is so ridiculous. Like, do you know what year it is? Do you, do you have you're any idea? About private like, things just... like out on the radio in front of millions of people. You called me a hooker on the radio, so... I didn't call you that, and I did not ever say that, because that's not what I feel. His old gal pals did. <laughs> right. Hey, Kara? Yeah, I was being completely team. honest about part, Yeah, part of his that. Mahjong group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask oh, a question wow. anyway. Corey, would you go on a second date with Kara? We'll pay for it. You know what? I don't think that would be the best idea. Uh, yeah, I, I think all of this is not working out like how anybody planned. <laughs> That's fine. You're a nice guy. Like, I wish you could time travel to go find someone for you. So, <laughs> Sweetheart, you're on yeah. the phone on the radio trying to get a hold of me. So maybe you should time travel and go back. <laughs> to where? So, to what? To what? So before you made this phone call and embarrassed yourself in front of the world. Oh, no, dang. I don't want to go out with you. <laughs> That's a short time. You can travel. try to get defensive. You can try to be angry, but... Sorry. Yeah. I'm not responding okay. to your calls, and maybe you should stop trying to get a hold of me through the media. Ouch. <laughs> the like only thing that I really media. find offensive is that you called us the media. Yeah, That's the media. weird to me. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning.